So we are on the record in case number A21A833630, uh, Lisa King versus Real Water et al. This is on the defendant, Hannah Instruments, Inc., SAA U.S. and Scientific Instrument uh, Development International's motion for determination of good faith settlement on an order shortening time. And I just wanted to also, uh, and also the motion to seal, which is granted. <laughs> so um, that motion to seal obviously affects the um, document that was filed, the settlement agreement that was filed under temporary seal yesterday. So thank you, I, I got that. So I read the, the motion and once I received the um, settlement document itself, I only have a couple more questions just so I feel like I can represent um, that I have analyzed the factors I'm supposed to uh, under the MGM fire case and best of all. So, um, so I know the amount paid, and I will not say that, so we don't have to seal this. If you, if you say the amount at any time during the hearing, I'll seal the transcript as well. Um, uh, so, the you know the factors, the second factor uh, allocation between the plaintiffs. Obviously, we only have one plaintiff, but where you you have numerous defendants, the analysis is generally looked at as what's the allocation vis-a-vis -vis the defendants. And I, not being familiar with this case um, and nobody indicating, I have no idea what kind of claimed damages plaintiff is making so that I can kind of compare that with the settlement amount that, that these HANA uh, defendants are paying. Well, we've taken you and think <laughs> You probably know the defendants better than I do as far as any allocation potentially. I, I do. Your Honor, um, the three primary defendants who will remain in our case uh, after this settlement will be Kihi, which is a distributor of real water, okay. uh, Whole Foods, okay. which also sold real water, and Sprouts, okay. that also sold real water. So we have three okay. uh, and I saw, primary defendants. And I saw, did I not, that there have been attempts for a good faith settlement with the Whole Foods sprouts and Not, that was rejected by the court because there wasn't sufficient analysis. But it sounded to me like from the minutes that the court was, if, you know, if, if there was additional information, uh, the, the motion was denied without prejudice. Yeah, I don't, I mean, we are in, we've had one mediation session with those three defendants, including Whole Foods. But we have not reached a, a settlement with them. Um, really? Yeah. But you were aware that they filed a, they filed I wasn't, a motion? But the way the filings come into this is because they're consolidated for discovery. Yeah. It's hard to pick out, you know, which is which. But no, I have not seen that before. Okay. So Your Honor, if I may, Ashley Gugino on behalf of the plaintiffs. Oh. Um, I believe that that settlement was between Whole Foods and a third party. Oh. And then, yeah, Real Water of Tennessee, and they there was two hearings, and they didn't show up to either hearing, so the court denied the their motion. Okay, thank you. But was there not some discussion in the minutes about well? There was, the yeah. Okay. So uh, Judge Kishner had some questions yeah. uh, for counsel during the first hearing, and then one of the counsels didn't show up, so she said, uh, you know, continued hearing, and then nobody showed up except, except for us, so okay. she did not. All right. Thank you for clarifying that. I'd forgotten that because, I mean, that wasn't the focus. I was just trying to get a, a handle on on the, this very large case, right? Um, okay. Um, so there are still, plaintiff could tell me then that there are still uh, large defendants remaining in the case and nonetheless the uh, settlement amount which is you know nothing to sneeze at um, is appropriate given plaintiff's uh, analysis that's that correct your what i'm understanding okay all right good and let's see uh, 
new glasses. I have to take them off to read my own notes. All right, so um, so the insurance policy limits of the settling defendants wasn't disclosed in the filing. Are they self-insured? Are they, I mean, normally I, I know that's more an analysis when you've got, uh, say, a, a settling defendant who's paying 15000 because that's the policy limit and everybody just wants policy limits. Um, tell me a little bit more about the insurance in this case. Okay, well, there, there is an insurance policy. Uh, as you know, there's a number of real water cases, a number of plaintiffs, and there has been a global resolution with uh, over 60 plaintiffs uh, across um, you know, many different cases. Okay. And so that policy limit is, is uh, you know, well in excess of the money that's uh, been agreed to in this case. And so I think the policy limits, you know, Globally, perhaps it was a, was a consideration, but in this case, an individual settlement that was, it, it actually wasn't part of the initial global settlement, it was kind of a, a separate settlement uh, from that. So, I don't, without kind of disclosing the, the policy limits or, or the, you know, any contribution by um, our, our clients, I, I can say that in this case, at least, it wasn't a, a factor, you know, like a $15,000, you know, auto policy or something like that, which right. I think is what a lot of the cases deal with. But, okay. but it sounds like it could have been somewhat of a consideration in that you have other cases and there are, all the claims would be un included under one, uh, if it's an occurrence kind of policy, so you're looking at it globally and that was part of the consideration. Yeah, I think we put it, I think, the way we briefed it was, it was not the, a primary consideration. Right. So. right. But I know. It, it was definitely, uh, but it was definitely a consideration <laughs> yes. on the play side, Your Honor. Okay. All right. So I wanted to make that clear. And let's see. Um, and the financial condition of the settling defendants, the, um, was the plaintiff concerned about that at all? Yes, Your Honor, because <clears throat> of some judgments that that the defendant Hannah has against him already, so, yeah. Okay, all right. Well, um, then considering those, all the factors, I find that this settlement is made in good faith and I'll approve it as such. If you'll um, go ahead and, who, who wants to file the order? Yeah, we'll, okay. we'll take care of your order. Great. And um, if you'll just do that within the 14 days, is required by the rule. Is there anything else I can help you with that I didn't cover today that we needed? I don't think so, yeah. All right. Thank, Thank you so much. Appreciate your time. Thank you. Yeah. You're very welcome. Thank you.